Hi everybody, so apparently I have some subscribers to my channel, which I find a little amusing because I didn't actually start the channel to to do videos really, I did it to make that one video and then be able to post on my blog without taking up bandwidth. But since we're here, why not, right? So I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about a, uh, a permanent hair color and kind of an ironic story. Um, we're all sorts of, we're full of all sorts of irony. So the, the hair color system is called, um, let me see here. I, I pulled it up because I don't actually have the box. I threw it away because I did this last week. It's called Rage Mix and Go Hair Color. And uh, sorry about the, the noise. That would be my kids who are apparently, are apparently amusing themselves while separating the laundry. Um, so the Rage Mix and Go hair color is actually available at Sally's Beauty Supply. Uh, to get the the discount price, you have to have a Sally's card, which I have because I'm addicted to nail polish, so might as well. Um, and actually, really, I don't have it. I use my friends. Shh, don't tell them. So my friend Mary came over the other day, and she said she told me that she wanted to go and do hair, get some hair dye, but you know she kind of wanted her friend to go with her to help her pick something out. So I went with her, and we found this one that was no pre-bleaching needed. That it was like the bleach is right in it, so it bleaches and colors at the same time. And um, if you can see here, I have dark hair, like dark brown hair. Um, so getting getting my hair to dye is really, really difficult. So I just tend to kind of not do it. Um, every once in a while when I go down to see my cousin, I let her do it just because she's a salon, she's a specialist, and so she knows what she's doing. But uh, so the next day my friend comes over with the dye and says, let's go red together. And I say, hey, why not? Um, so you can see it here. I know in the lighting it looks like it's orange but trust me it's actually red um and then it, we, we did the tips too you know because because that's like that's kind of trendy i did it all the way around well she did she did mine i did hers um and then we did this like just like one single streak um which mine separated and so there's a streak on both sides which actually looks really cool so um kind of the the redneck way of doing streaks yourself at home like this is to take tin foil, aluminum foil, um, I say tin foil, it's not made out of tin, aluminum foil. Um, the pop and go sheets are the best because they're thin and they're already in sheets, but yeah, just grab just grab the aluminum foil you have and cut it into squares. Um, you fold it in half first, so I'll demonstrate with, let's pretend, this right here, this, this, is, this is a sheet of aluminum foil. So you would just fold it in half like this, um, and then you would take the bit of hair that you want to do, you slip it underneath like that, okay, and then you brush the color on until you've saturated it, okay. Then you take this top sheet here and fold it up in half like this, okay. That just gives you, allows you to kind of be able to, to mess with it a little more, make sure it's tucked down in there. Once it's tucked down in there, go ahead and fold it over like this on both sides. So fold front, fold back, and then take the bottom part and fold it all up. And since it's aluminum foil, it will have all crinkled up and you can just let go and it'll stay, not like the piece of paper. But that's kind of the do-it-yourself way of doing your um, own streaks at home. I'm not a licensed professional, so I'm just saying this as uh, a do-it-yourselfer. Um, so, and, and you know, it works. It, it gives nice results. My hair grows fast, so it's kind of already starting, my roots are growing out and stuff because my hair is just, my hair is super, you know, it's got lots of volume, so it tends to grow really fast. Um, I like the product. It came out super vibrant at first, but it has faded a little bit, which is lucky in my hair because I have dark hair, so it's kind of fading into this uh, this really nice golden color, and I imagine it's it look, it's going to become more of an auburn, auburn color, so I'm not really worried so much, but my friend didn't look out because she's a redhead, so it's fading and becoming this kind of pinkish color. Um, so just something to kind of keep in mind, uh, probably lighter hair is going to fade a lot easier. So on a, if I was giving this a one, two, three, four, or five stars, I'd probably give it a three stars. It's $10 a box, well, $9.99, um, and I don't remember if that's the discounted price or the regular price, 
but uh, for the price, you really, you can't beat it, honestly. Um, and it does, it does give really, really great results. Uh, you know, and it's permanent as opposed to, um, oh gosh, I can't remember what the other one's called, and I'm sure somebody will say in the comments, but the ones that come in the little uh, round containers, and um, so those aren't, those apparently are not permanent, but this one is. Uh, there was only three colors that we saw when we went there. There was a super vibrant violet purple color, there was a super vibrant like neon pink color, and then there was this like fire engine red color. So, uh, not a bad selection, you know? Uh, kind of sad if you wanted something like blue or yellow or orange, which I really kind of like a blue, but you know, you take what you can get. I like that you don't have to bleach first. Um, it's built right into the system. It obviously works. My hair is dark. My hair does not dye easily. And it works. It came out bright, vibrant, vibrant red. So, uh, on that front, I would give it a five stars. I'd probably even go six, because that's kind of impressive for at-home results, you know. So, for ten bucks, you can't beat it. Um, the box did my streaks, her streaks, uh, her tips and my tips in one box. So really that's like five dollars a person. I imagine if you're doing all of your hair as one color, then you know, you're not, you're, it's gonna probably take the whole box, but still. That's really, really not bad. Um, so, thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll have some more of these coming in the coming weeks with uh, just whatever's on my mind. Alright, part two, because I kind of realized I didn't tell you the story. So my friend came over, we do the hair dye. It wasn't really that I forgot. It was just, it was just an oversight and an impulsive moment. We all have those. So when my husband comes home and he sees my hair, he's a little less than ecstatic, which is, I mean, before anybody jumps to any conclusions, my husband is not a controlling man. Um, he was just really stressed out over the wedding, and I was, I was being impulsive, because uh, I didn't, you know, it was his dad's <laughs> wedding. And so um, he he tells me, well, why don't you go ahead and take a picture and send it to the bride to be to see how she reacts? And if she's not, if she's a little less than thrilled, let's find a way to try to cover it up or or something. Which I figured out if I pulled it up and did this little twist thing and bobby pins and all that good stuff, you know, I I could hide it. So I send her a picture and she's fine with it. She thinks it's cute. It looks like one of her daughter's hairs, her daughter's hair. So that worked out. But that same day I was actually doing a new manicure, which I have a tutorial for on my blog. It's the candy corn tutorial. But I decided, because, well, we're going into fall, and I've been at the stores, and I've seen candy corn, and I love candy corn. It's one of my favorites, and it's kind of one of the highlights to me about fall. Um, I know, I know, it shouldn't be candy. It should be things like, you know, the turning leaves, the traditions. But really, candy corn, it rocks. So I was doing a tutorial for that. I got the black nail polish on as the base because I really wanted to show it off and realized I didn't have enough time to finish my manicure before the PTC meeting. By the way, for those of you who don't know, PTC is the new uh, acronym for PTA. So the Parent Teacher Club instead of Association. It sounds a little more ghetto, honestly, but, you know, what can you do? And uh, I'm not really a PTC kind of person. But um, I want to be a little more involved in the school, and I heard a bunch of people kind of left the club, and they were needing new, you know, fresh blood. So I was kind of hoping I could go in there and be an idea girl and uh, get some cool stuff going on and just be a little more involved with my kids. Um, so I didn't end up going because we just we had a lot going on. But seriously, how cool is it to show up to the PTC meeting with punk rocker red hair? Oh yeah, get it in the light right there, uh-huh, yeah, and uh, black nails. However, I did show up for my son's uh, IEP meeting because he's, he's autistic with my red hair and my black nails, and I got a lot of very interesting looks, <laughs> so uh, just, you know, an FYI, before you uh, take my advice and use my, my home do-it-yourself for putting your own streaks in, Look at the calendar and make sure there's nothing really big coming up that you're going to regret doing it for. It turned out for me, but it might not for you.